Most comedians look for a catchphrase. He's got one, but it lasts for half an hour. Roy Walker's here. Roy Walker? Oh, fuck, what a crossover. Uh, wait a second. Catchphrase program. British game show. Started... Uh, 86. Aired on ITV between 12th of January 1986 and 2004. Uh, he, did, he did it till 1999, so for like 13 years. So he'd already been... Uh, Nick, where the fuck's that? Is that? So he's, he's already been doing it for a year. I, pre I, I, I would have thought... Oh, that's the catchphrase fucking thing. I would have thought... I thought when you're a comedian... I, I, it just clicked me. I'm fucking stupid. I'm so fucking daft. I thought... Once you become like a presenter... I know, it didn't even click with me. <laughs> Mark says, that's the Jake. <laughs> you made a mistake. Um, I thought once you become like a presenter having been a comedian you don't then appear as a fucking stand-up in somebody in another fucking programme thank you thank you very much indeed ladies and gentlemen and what a pleasure to be here on 321 you can't believe some of the things you see on television nowadays the Japanese have just brought out a new motor car oh here we fucking go Brace yourself. It's 87 though. It's 87. It's 87. We're almost at the 90s. Does 500 miles to the gallon. This is almost like 3 to 1. I'm trying to work out what the racist thing is that could get said. It'll never sell in this country. I'm just going through all the, the various... It would take 10 years to get a set of glasses. <laughs> Some of the adverts. I had to have a baby before I found the right shampoo. What? what, what, what? Some Japanese have just brought... You can't believe some of the things you see on television nowadays. Right. The Japanese have just brought out a new motor car. Right. Does 500 miles to the gallon. Right. It'll never sell in this country. It would take 10 years to get a set of glasses. <laughs> 10 years to get a set of glasses. Now, you are probably looking to me and saying, let me... You were born in 1974. In 1987, um, you'd have been like 13, maybe 12. Is that right, 74? Aye, probably 12 for most of it. So you were like, you know, aware of what was going on around you. Kind of like secondary school age almost. What was on the tail at the time? Was it, well, were there Japanese companies well known for making glasses, spectacles? Uh, that, was it just all the rage? The downside was that it took ages to get them. <laughs> it, took, it took ages. Esso points. Esso points. Esso... Petrol, oil company and all the rest of it. So you got to save up for the tiger talks. You got to save up for points and... Let me, let me... Oh, what's the... Esso? Missing. What 
am I missing? miles to the gallon. Oh, the Japanese. Oh, I see. You can't believe some of the things you see on television nowadays. I get it now. The Japanese have just brought out a new motor car. It does 500 miles to the gallon. 500 miles to the gallon. You get so many miles out of a gallon, right? Because it's so efficient. It'll never sell in this country. But take 10 years to get a set of glasses. <laughs> glasses as in, like, glasses you drink out of? Like a wee kind of wee set of glasses you get for your points for the amount of fuel that you buy. Nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. Nice one. Right, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. The SO, SO bit. <laughs> Who said SO? Old Redhead, thanks for the sub. Some of the adverts. I had to have a baby before I found the right shampoo. <laughs> I, I wasn't listening there. Right. Right. Reset. Some of the adverts. I had to have a baby before I found the right shampoo. <laughs> Was there an advert with a baby in it? Is it the baby shampoo? That like, kind of, right. I thought your chemist drives a hard bargain. <laughs> I have a brother-in-law, Shuey. I think to get this, you've got to have known the adverts that were on the telly within the last three months at that time. Gets things mixed up. Someone told him that 80% of all accidents occur within two miles of the home. So he moved. <laughs> Fucking yes, man. He won the Tour de France, went missing for three weeks doing a lap of honour. <laughs> See, Roy here has got a very confident, very confident style. A lot of comedians, when things only gone well, instinctively speed up. Big mistake. Because see, if you, they start saying something that people they like, you're not giving them time to laugh. He just waits. He just waits. Nay, rush. If you're no laughing, it's nothing to do with me. They see me panicking. It must be because I know this is funny. I have to go everywhere with him. We went to the Greyhound Derby. I said, did you enjoy that? He said, fantastic. First time I ever saw a rabbit on a motorbike. <laughs> Good stuff. I see that seat still hasn't been filled. <laughs> Oof. Gets <laughs> Gets things mixed up. We went to this fancy dress party. He They're all dead now. Up, fucking half of them died during this. That bit there. It's how fucking long he was doing that for, look. Get that. Gets things mixed up. We went to this fancy dress party. Huh? Gets things mixed up. We went to this Sips? Is that you? This fancy gets things mixed up. We went sips. to this fancy dress party. He showed up in a smock. Fucking sips. A straw hat, wellies, and a crook. I said, "What are you here as?" He said, "A spy." <laughs> I said, "Dressed like that?" He said, "Yes, I'm a shepherd spy." I missed that joke. Smock. A straw hat, wellies, and a crook. I said, what are you here as? He said, a spy. <laughs> I said, dressed like that? He said, yes, I'm a shepherd spy. <laughs> Eat all sorts of jobs. Used to work in the butchers. 
Took him four hours to hang up the mints. <laughs> he got the sack. Tried to sell a lady a leg of liver. Then he got a job putting telegraph poles into the ground. The foreman said, how many did you do today, Shuey? He said, three. He said, Murphy's lot did 200. Shuey said, have you seen how far his are sticking out of the ground? Fucking yes, man. I get it. I get it. Nice wee fella. Unlucky, I'm unlucky. When my ship comes in, I'll be at the airport. I caught one of those 24-hour viruses. I've had it for a month. <laughs> sure, he was unlucky. How long's this? bought a pair of those turtle shell shoes. Fuck's sake, how? Took him a week to walk out of the shop. <laughs> really unlucky. He rang the Samaritans once. The fellow at the other end of the line shot himself. <laughs> then a 20 minute set. Aye, just a, just a cheeky wee 20 minute set. A solid 20. Somebody left him £100,000 in the will. And he went down to the solicitors to get the money. The solicitor said, I'm very sorry. There's been a rupture in the bill of probate till they get the legacies together. No one's being paid out. Sure, he said, is that right? <laughs> He had a few Guinnesses on a train on the way home. His wife said, did you get the money? He said, no, there's another fella involved. <laughs> a fella called Bill Propiet. <laughs> and he's had a rupture. <laughs> Till he got his legs and his knees together, nobody's getting better out. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> End on that one. End on that one, man. Crack on, man. What's that, 38 minutes? When did that start? Walkers here. Come up for 34. Uh, but four and a half minutes there. A solid, a solid four minutes set there. <laughs> there he comes, man. That was a, a, a tight five eye. Please, listen, Roy, don't. don't. Oh. They'll start talking now, please. <laughs> <laughs> Very good as always. Listen, have you nice got a one. catchphrase for us? Uh, a catchphrase? Yeah. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll keep that one. What do you? This is going to be the clue, is this it? This is the clue. A, a, a dash in this, a dash in that. It all depends what's under your hat. There you are. That is the clue. This time, ladies and gentlemen, Roy Walker. Good luck, Roy. Thank you, Ted. Bye-bye. All the best. <laughs>